Yeah, let's do it. All right. Hey, how's it going, everyone? Wave at the yeah. We got a uh, dog Cornelius in the house. Um, we are going to. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build uh, God trees, draping trees. These were inspired by Block Fortress, you know and Fortress. yeah, he has some really wicked builds on his channel. And I was inspired by his trees and wondering if you could do it in uh, them in sunshine. And that's actually one. This is in this video series. Oh, can you hit B and turn off the blur? Or is it on? Hit it. Oh, no, hit it again. Sorry, blur was off. We haven't done our preparation, guys. Dog Cornelius has something stuck in her teeth. Yeah. We haven't uh, turned the so blur you, off. There we go. Cool. All right. Anyway, um, I'm also learning. Well, I think this is, this, this is helping us build some stuff that looked a little better, a little more finished. A lot of our other tutorials have been just fast, uh, quick and dirty. Uh, and it's also showing me wonderful things about the line tool. I'm just learning a lot about the line tool in this video. And I just think it's, I had a fun, fun doing this build before. And if this video is a good one for that reason. I'm gonna make a couple of pieces in, in preparation. Um, something a little different about this, this video as well is that we're gonna be making, uh, basically uh, there are a couple of parts that uh, Block Fortress uses and we're gonna sort of duplicate them. One of them is a, a radius 15 circle. Um, we don't actually have an ability to make circles in the sunshine yet. Uh, but someday we will. Someday we will. Someday Until then, soon. someday soon, I'm just going to quickly make a plus sign, radius 15, and show you guys also how this gray area works a bit. So you see I made these things uh, 15, and I just made them really quickly. Um, the way I made a 15, you guys who missed it, I took a block, I filled it, uh, used the fill tool to make it a, uh, a 5. That's actually a 6. Um, you count really good, Steve. Oh, yeah. I can't count above five, but I, I know five times three is 15. And I did this to make a 15. And then I, you know, basically taking the 15s. And uh, you know, this is a 15. Did you learn how to do that when you got your PhD? That's PhD level stuff. Um, you stick the 15s together like so. And you make a plus sign and radius 15. That part's going to come back in a little bit. Um, another thing that um, Block Fortress uses is is this piece right here, which I'm gonna make, which is kind of like a, the cross section of the trunk. And that sort of looks like, it's like three wide, it's a little deep. And I know then it goes out uh, diagonally here, and a little more here, and does another three. And so that's the other piece, and I'm just gonna, oh, keep doing ah. that, making it symmetrical. Oh, and I can do something that we everyone need, loves. Oh, oh, we've got oh, a, we really have to get that jar. We need, we need to get the undo jar. jar. Because if we had an undo jar, we'd be so much closer to being able to, to afford, afford undo. somebody yes. to program undo. undo for us. That's right. But anyway, I'm doing what I like the most, which is the Tony Stark. Oh. Two-handed, in space, oh. making the cross-section of the truck. All right. So now we got these. If we want, we could even just put them in our handy part tray. We don't really need many parts for this build, mainly uh, wood. Uh, we'll also be using leaves uh, for this build. Okay. Now, how do we make a tree? So this is not just a tree, this is a god tree. It's a massive tree. It's a tree of life. It's a tree of life. But um, the tree, um, I like this tree. It's big <laughs> and it's pretty. And the tree also, I find Much like our boss, David. Hey, shut up. Line tool, I think the line tool has been, un I mean, we're, we're wondering what to do with this line tool. We use, <clears throat> we use it a little. I think this video is really the... Uh, we use it for roofs. <coughs> mainly a roofing tool but this video is like the uh, magnum opus of the line tool it shows all kinds of stuff we can do with line tool and the one thing we can do with it uh, is make our tree so like that basic outline of our tree so I'm going to click here go line tool and just say hey you know I think I want a tree that looks kind of uh, uh, and you want a cr like a crooked tree well it's crooked this is how again this is really just a lot of this is copying from uh, block fortress and what he did in his tutorial, but he make he starts with a line up like this. Mm -hmm. um, also, the thing I learned actually about is like some of the just the wonderful, dif like just what goes into making a tree look as good and the kinds of decisions that go into making a tree. I was actually blown away by the subtlety and uh, even just trying to make this solution work. I think takes some amount of um, like ability. Um, I don't know. I had a lot of problems balancing it. I just think. You love I, I have, some block I have here, respect. Don't you? I this this I'm I, I'm having I like I like art I like creation 
I, I love forms and I, yeah, I like I like what Block Fortress is doing. I didn't really respect it. I don't think until as you much as I do now. It. Now I've tried to replicate it. I understand it a lot more, and I think it's pretty cool. Um, what I'm going to do now, we're making the the sort of main body of the tree. I put a bunch of our parts down here, and then I'm going to group drag draw, and just go up to make them like so. And this is making the general body of the tree, and it's a big fat tree. That's why we call it a god tree. Um, Jesus isn't fat. I don't know if you ever seen a picture of Jesus or is that? Um, I have yet to see a, a picture of that. Yeah. Um, so the other thing that this this video. I've seen black Jesus. Yep. I've seen all kinds of Jesus. Yep. But I've, I've seen black Jesus. I've seen blonde Jesus. I've seen brunette Jesus. I ain't never seen fat Jesus. Okay. <laughs> um, so just speaking of making a, a round tree, uh, the next part, another tool that we I think get to show off in this video is our friend drag draw, which really we haven't used too much in other videos. It's actually working out really well to detail and make this a little more smooth. Um, uh, I think the goal here is to make the tree sort of a little roundish and a little more organic. Yes, dog is making her desk more comfortable. Yeah. So, and this is just to give a little more randomness to make the tree seem a little more alive. I'm also going to get totally Bob Ross in this video. Oh, okay. And I'm going to be a little blocked because Bob Bo Fortress said to make the tree round, you know? <laughs> and I, I, I found making it really Trees round. Are round. Roundness helps. That's another thing that I'm, I'm certain about. Jesus ain't fat and trees are round. Okay. <laughs> Do we have to discuss religion? <laughs> I'm not discussing religion, I'm discussing Jesus. He's a guy. Um, so I think that tree could use a little more rounding. Yeah, I think I think it could. Uh, other thing I found out doing this, uh, I I practiced. Okay, so I normally don't practice at all for these videos, and I've, I've been priding myself in just improvising for, for everyone. This video, I also learned the benefits of practice. I feel like I've learned a lot more um, in terms of, well, I guess you guys don't get to see me mess up when you watch the video, but um, I'm, I'm learning that a little bit of irregularity and sometimes just the thing that makes no sense works. The thing works. that makes it look human. Yeah, it makes it look uh, natural and organic. Um, but a little organic. too much of that, too much of that um, will make it look not like a tree anymore. So you got to be a little bit careful with that. Okay, so I'm going to even work Stevenson, here. Stevenson, when are you into organic stuff? I, uh, let me tell you, this, the beauty, I'm not into organic foods, but the beauty of this tree, um, pretty nice, yeah. I, I like my food with the benefits of science applied to it. Shout out to Jeff Picard. Shout out to Jeff Picard. Um, J Dog. J Dog, who, by the way, when, when you're marveling at how good this drag draw tool is, uh, you can thank him for it. J Dog in the comments. And we're actually going to get into the cooler. Well, actually, we can probably get into that. If one. you like J Dog, thumbs yes. up this video. Give him a thumbs up for Jeff Picard. So, the other part here is this base part. And the thing I, I learned through practicing is to get this effect, it really helps to use the line tool. And we're basically going to drag like a little base out of the tree. The important thing to getting this right is to having like a bit of. I'm just going to make a bunch of lines. If you're following along at home, I might just make lines. You know, imagine water running downhill. Oh, you really are getting. Oh, yeah. But um, if we just make, make these, uh, these lines here at an angle, the thing we're trying to get is like a bit of an inflection point here, right? So you see how the trunk of the tree goes down and then out to the right, it kind of makes a bit of an angle. I found, I tried doing this with all kinds of methods. Let me tell you, Sarah, the drag draw uh, really? not, didn't work so well. The really? line tool. Line tool kills it at this. Yeah. Kills it. The line tool totally kills it. This video from you see that? Yeah. It makes it makes you can get that, that angle oh, right all around good. with the line tool. And we're also showing off, I think, a lot of this organic filling. You know, there's irregularities and stuff. I think a lot of my other builds have been kind of mechanical using fill tool a lot. Um, I think the story of this video for me is the way you haven't that haven't made uh, anything vegetative yet. You made a water Building. Yeah, I made some trees, but it's just nothing, nothing nearly at this I level. I think this is bringing out the Bob Ross. Yeah, it's here. bringing out the Bob Ross. And we also we just shot a little while ago our tutorial video, and I'm also 
thinking about actually teaching people how to build stuff instead of just talking randomly you know so i like talking randomly i know i know and i was actually hoping if, for some nice facts about trees if, um, if you don't want random talk i'm not sure point, you want me sitting just, here just you might the, want to stick with dog cornelius just, just notice the companion. mass of the tree going down and awesome. out like that i think it's an awesome you know tree. and now i'm afraid to say anything yeah don't say nothing just, just keep it going um anyway here i'm going to guys i'm making some chicken yeah, Sarah's making some chicken. She's going to go get her chicken, but it's good because I can uh, regale everyone with the use of drag draw. And you see how cool it is. And this is something, you know, drag draw, you can just move around, sort of filling stuff in. And I'm not really paying too much attention to here where stuff is going. Uh, I'm just trying to sort of fill in some of these holes. I'm willing to let it go out a little bit further, but just letting these, uh, these gaps get filled in in a pretty organic way. Very simple. Right? There's another part of this, which is the feet of the tree. Um, we'll probably get to the feet a little bit later. Let's fill this in a minute. All right. Here's our tree. I actually, yep, okay, this is good. Now the next part of the tree, I, I hit it in the part tray, is the top part of the tree. And in this, uh, in Block Fortress's video, he will actually take a circle of radius 15, or he doesn't actually move anything in his video. He shows you the stages of build, because I assume it just takes forever to do uh, one block at a time. But what I did is I took our, each of these is 15 long, so it's a 31 by 31 across, and um, this is the top part of the tree. So I think everyone just, you know, I think a lot of the success of this tree is actually proportioning. And what makes things look really good is proportioning. I totally copied this proportioning. It was all based on this part in the bottom, you know, and this, or sorry for the, the profile. And then the 15 by 15 down here, and like a roughly three, uh, th you know, three or four block diagonal line here. And you get, you know, from there, the rest is actually pretty straightforward. Um, but in order to make this a little more like a circle, <laughs> so we don't have a circle tool yet in Sunshine. Um, we've definitely thought about it. Again, I think we should maybe have a separate collection for the circle tool. Hey, Sarah. Yeah. Could we have a jar for the circle tool? I think we should. I'm going to get some jars. Yeah, we want a jar for circle tool because we would love uh, to build one. Also, if we get a thousand likes on our videos, a circle tool will magically appear in sunshine. You're right. If we get a thousand likes on this video, We'll get the circle tool. Actually, I would probably be willing to do the uh, the circle tool for, for 900 likes. 900 likes? Yeah, 900 likes would probably be all right. Carving base and I know. Sure. If we give them the circle tool for like 900 likes, they might not. Yeah, well, they'll, yeah, they'll know how, yeah. Well, I, try, maybe, maybe I, they, uh, let's see if, just test me, you know, try me, see if we'll build it for 900 likes. Um, okay, anyway, so now we have a rough sort of ring out here. And the next step is to make branches. And I, I think this usually works with about three branches. Well, so again, I take, I'm still sitting here with a line tool. And this is where I think it's super fun. You can actually kind of see, you know, I can fly around with the uh, joysticks and stuff and get a sense of how this thing sits in space. I can also sort of go up here and I can get a top level view of where the branches are going to go. So I click here, oh, and I drag on down. I it's say not maybe. a perfect circle. Oh yeah, it's far from perfect circle, but the cool thing about this is it doesn't matter. So it's a very imperfect structure. It's all about proportioning. The thing that matters the most is to get the proportioning. This branch is gonna go down a little more, and I get a nice balance of, you know, some a little taller, some a little shorter. Um, and then I kind of go in here, and I don't know, it's not bad to do a couple more lines just to reinforce the basic line structure we have here. This is really taking me back to when Bob Ross taught me how to do the flower petals. Yep, I like Bob Ross quite a bit. And just imagine all the wonderful forest creatures in here. And this, for me, you know, a lot of parts of this build, I had to, um, oh, saving the world. A lot of parts of this build took practice, you know. I only practiced once, but I did mess around with the base quite a bit. This part I found extremely forgiving you get the proportions right, you make sort of three branches, sort of works. <laughs> and maybe maybe it'll actually not work this time. Maybe I just got lucky last time. But 
Um, you know, go in here with the drag draw tool, create a little more volume. Again, don't worry too much about this volume right now. Just try to sort of fill it in and make a nice thick seeming branch thing. This is going to be a lot more difficult in Minecraft. Yeah, uh, yeah. This I really feel like this video. Do you see what I'm saying, Sarah, about how the line tool is really showing its yeah, its muscle? Strength. You know, it's strength of the line tool, and then um, strength of the drag draw. Look, I'm making drag draw. Like, We didn't even show people how to do drag draw in our tutorial video. So, you know, underutilized is drag draw. That's true. Right? Because well, we did a group drag draw in that video, but I, um, you know. Look, the dogs are competing for oh, bed space. Oh, Snorkel, are you? <laughs> snorkel, you just kicked Cornelius off her... The snorkel uh, does not usually um, desk. She's right. not our desk dog. Yeah, why is she uh, desking right I now? I just is wanted she to jelly? see what would happen. Oh, you put her up there. Yeah. She, she seems to like it. She, <laughs> That's she true, she's a little like small. Yeah. Maybe she's been jelly the whole time of Cornelius being desk dog. Maybe. Cornelius is the only dog that has a position, an official position at, at, at Wait More Amazing. That's true. Storkel's really just a bystander. Um, anyway, other thing to do now that we've done this is make these really look like branches. Going to get rid of some stuff. Something else which, by the way, using vanilla Minecraft has been very difficult for me. Deleting blocks. Right? you got to be kidding me, right? Going through, like oh, moving gosh. it, just delete, delete. I tried deleting something earlier today in vanilla Minecraft. Mm. Uh, um. Yeah, our software messed up. And <laughs> yeah, it's because of our bugs, you know. <laughs> when we have bugs, we end up using vanilla Minecraft and then we're like, oh, man, let's fix that bug. <laughs> we shouldn't knock, I mean, we, we do love to play vanilla Minecraft. There's a lot of sp experimentation going on in this video. We're experimenting with a new desk dog. Yep. We're oh. experimenting with um, new ways to use drag draw and the line tool. Mm -hmm. I'm really digging it. Yep. Lots of experimentation. Here I actually want a little more, a little more volume over here. And this is actually not quite coming out as well as I think it did last time, but I think a little more, a little more of this will do it. A little more volume in here. It's a fat branch. That Jesus would approve. Oh, what, which which uh, which Elvis do you think uh, would approve of this branch the most? The one that ate peanut butter and banana sandwiches, obviously. The young, is that uh, not young Elvis? You mean? Fat Elvis. Fat Elvis. <laughs> I really, you know what? I really enjoyed how we have both a young and old Elvis, and also like two Michaels, two Michael Jacksons. Oh yeah. <laughs> right? <laughs> well, Elvis changes size and attractiveness and Elvis and, and Michael changes color. Yeah, and and, no and, and he a lot of facial surgery too. <laughs> but yeah. And complete appearance. Lots of surgery and stuff. No, but I mean my, there were in between stages. See so look Michael. at this. This is not organic. Oh now it's organic. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, we got okay, this does this look like a tree? Yeah, pretty much starting to look like a tree, tree, right? Or like a hat rack. Yeah, tree or hat rack. Um, next step is to get some, some foliage, right? And Education. this is where, yeah, I like the... Could you do like some mixed leaves? Uh, I could. I'm a fan of the spruce. Oh, but some, some mixed leaves might... What other leaf do you texture. want? I mean, uh, sure, sure. Which one? I do a lot of them. Birch. You know what? I'm going to do... <laughs> go wild. I'm going to mainly Guys, go spruce. Guys, if this turns out bad, it's my fault. Yeah, yeah. Okay. The thing that I want to do first is just a fair amount of spruce. So here, oh, oh, how did I pick it up? All right. Um, yeah, here, just go do this. And oh, oh foliage. This is, I think, the funnest part of the build. And to get some of those hanging, oh. oh. Hanging effect, right? Oh, nice. Pretty cool, huh? A lot easier to like legit this, randomize I, I, this. I like flying around in Minecraft and doing this. You? <laughs> no. <laughs> it's really hard. Also, like say. you could do these things out in space. Like a little like that is different becomes leaves. very difficult to do in different vanilla. Different leaves. Different leaves. Hold on, I'm gonna get a good mass of this first, and no, we'll we'll do, we'll do it all in its own order because first. 
We got this to do, and you don't actually. Steven, I have an idea for a tool. I'm just gonna interrupt you. I know that you're feeling very narcissistic tonight, but I like to talk about things. So Steven, you know how in, um, in Photoshop you can uh, left and right click with colors? And yeah, we've discussed the painting tool, yeah. yeah. You, you didn't even know that, what I was okay. gonna say. I know. I just think that it would be really good if you were drag rolling around and you could like press a button on top and switch between oh. different blocks. Yes. Yes. <sighs> All right. That would be cool. Jeez. All right. You um, think I know you know everything I have to say? Not everything. I've got original thoughts, man. So the other thing that I'm going to do, so one of the things about this tree that really makes it work well, so we see we have the top, we basically have the the bottom down here with these big branches up top. And what we're going to do now is add a little bit of mid in, just a little bit of stuff down here, a little errant branch maybe over here. It's looking a lot like El Cool, well, which a, is the largest tree in the world, well, circumference wise. It's supposed to be that kind of big, big tree, I think. El Tule is like 3,000 years old. It's Mojaca, Mexico. Um, yeah. So well, keep in mind also trees, um, first of all, things like this don't always help. You sometimes want to close it just because trees don't, you don't want too much randomness and variation, I think, in doing this. So I'm going to fill in some of these holes. Um, the other thing is you, the tree, you got to think of the tree as getting light, right? And so if you think there's a hole here where some light might come down, that's a good spot to put a lower branch system. So that's what we're doing. Secrets to getting the trees to be balanced. Um, now I'm going to put a little more of this sprucey foliage and then we'll get to the remaining foliage. When are you going to start doing the things that I want you to do? Uh, the things that you want to do? I like doing what I want to do. That's so boring. I like it. <laughs> That's why I, okay. I don't feel powerful when you do the things that you want to do. I feel powerful when you do the things that I want you to do. Understood. Happy. Bright green. Slightly different green. So, yeah, part of what I like about our new drag draw, unlike the old drag draw, we can really just move through space these, and things just appear. These folks have never seen the old drag draw. I know. Oh. Uh, Which they should feel very. Familiar. Yeah, look at our old videos, and you might be able to decipher how. Old drag draw oh, yeah, I think there was some old drag draw in those very first videos. Yeah. That boring. Yeah. I just, I just think the dark foliage works really well. I know variety is good as well. But variety is nice. Look at that. I guess. You don't like it. You take as long as you're taking credit for it, we'll just stay with it. It looks great. Okay, we'll put a little it bit of this in. It gives a lot of nice texture. Okay. Plus, you couldn't. Could, I guess you could do this in regular. Microsoft. Actually, I like this this green. Yeah, you just have to change the block you're using. Yeah. I think the thing the thing that's hard in regular Minecraft is to put it all over a tree without flying forever. Yeah. Right? Especially yeah. if you want things yeah, that sort of hover. Yeah, you around and around and around. Right? If you want things like these out here, you have yeah. to lay, like, and then I guess we're thinking in terms of mods, like, ooh. Well, that's a wood. It doesn't hurt. Just I don't know if any that, mods. Cover it up. Yeah, First whatever. Glitter on it. I like this deep green, actually. Yeah. You see? Now you're starting to convince me. And now we also, I don't know. That looks better. I think that looks Guys, pretty good. Guys, we're gonna we're gonna compare this tree to Steven's first tree, and you can tell me which foliage yeah. looks better. But now we're gonna do a little thing, which is I went I went a little after too. After you like the video, right? After you like and subscribe to our channel, um, and send us twenty dollars. Um, so yeah, there are a couple of Decide things I think. Your firstborn. Yeah, um, and make you know, come in and program, learn to code, and then work on Project Sunshine. And give Snorkel Louise offerings of beef jerky. Yep, treat our dogs nicely. <laughs> and what else? Sing the national anthem? No, we're not that kind of institution. Yep. Oh. Cool, so I'm actually, I went a little, a little, shall we say, buck wild. 
<laughs> with the uh, the tool, and that's something. Time to get floating. Buck, buck wild. wild. <laughs> okay, that's a one reference to um, reality Labor show. Love. So one more thing that um, if y'all haven't watched, it, you should definitely. Uh, that the light tool is good for. So like, just like this tree has a, uh, like a top up here, a bit of a midsection, this base that we made with the line tool, uh, something that really makes it look absolutely massive are these roots down below. Believe it or not, line tool comes in handy again for tracing this root system out. I cannot believe how useful the line yeah. tool has become um, in this build. You can even go up Why a bit. is that one root totally straight? <laughs> uh, because I'm yet, I'm not yet done with it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're just getting, we're basically, again, like uh, before, we're doing a bit of a proportioning. Um, so we're doing things that are about four or five blocks out and uh, are totally flat on the surface or just go up a bit. And this is giving us a big root area, kind of going around radially. You know, trying to say, well, this is a tree, a big tree alone on a savanna, and uh, lots of little, you know, creatures and critters living in its uh, roots, and uh, you know, you it's got a lot of space. Terrifying giraffe that it would take to eat from that tree. Yeah, it'd be a pretty serious giraffe. I mean, we don't have a scale on this, but we can think it's probably pretty big. Anyway, so this is sort of, again, like we did, we we did a basic structure with the line. I think this is our our recipe for organic stuff, which is to um, draw a line and then uh, use the drag draw tool to sort of round it out and stuff. And you get a, a way to get uh, some kind of definition, right? The line tool in all of our cases, whether it's the side of the tree, the body of the tree, this branch is up here, the line tool is always, you know, giving structure and stuff. Here it's positively untree like, so we're going to fill it in a bit. <laughs> um, remember, we are making a tree. Anyway. Once the lines are, are set up and the proportioning is set up, the drag draw does a really good job of filling in detail with a little bit of accidentalness, including this accident, which is awesome because it looks like a, a root just kind of poking up a bit out of the soil. Very nice. I want some birds and little people in the tree. I would, you know what, I'd love Bob Ross to paint on top of this tree. Oh, that would um, be catching. Yeah. Anyway, I, I think this tree is... Uh, is doing pretty good. I did try putting a waterfall on the other tree. It didn't actually do anything. We could, we could. Well, you'd put, have to put an active block beside it. Yeah. You have to turn the water on and keep your sunshine fields. Oh yeah, maybe I just didn't. You know what? That block didn't import. So. Um, yeah, yeah. We didn't say that. All blocks import. Yeah, we don't have any bugs with our software. Not a single bug. Um, anyway, I'm really feeling like this thing is. I guess that's looking great. Aside from it's fabulous. This, yeah. I just think there's all kinds of little woodland creatures living in there. I, I, it does trigger my imagination. I hit the trigger of everyone's imagination watching this video because imagination is a wonderful thing. <laughs> Boys and girls. It is a little bit creepy. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that is, that is a, that is a massive tree. Very nice tree. I like it. Oh, uh, uh, tree. It's a very, very, very fine chicken. Chicken's almost ready. Okay, if that's the case, let's delete the errant block. And let's keep our fingers crossed as we, I think it looks like it just saved. So let's uh, get out of sunshine and see if this actually Better translated to chicken. Minecraft. Your chicken basically done. All right. Make me burn my chicken, boy. Okay. Yep. Oh, there you can see the, uh, uh, the tutorial. The inspiration of Block Fortress. Made. Everyone, if you like this, please check out Block Fortress and subscribe to Block Fortress and watch and like the original Minecraft God Trees tutorial, which was our inspiration. Which we will link to in the description. Yes, we will do a link in the description, of course. But I know everyone's already subscribed to Block Fortress. He does have 34,000 uh, subscribers. 527, which is, yeah. Which okay. is a fair number. Yeah. We gotta find the fifty-seven people who didn't like his video. Beat <laughs> Time him to up. open up a can. All right. Okay. Loading world building terrain. Deco Luis, you want to be? Oh, up. oh! You see, look. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Part, but not all of the tree. Look. That's 
more disappointing than we anticipated. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think this part of Would the tree like is pretty good. Would you like to show the tree that you built before? Um, that tree is, uh, I, I deleted it. Oh, and that's why that tree looks like that. Did you, did you not move I verified chunks? it. Yeah, I deleted it and verified it. This is a domestic squabble. Sorry, tree. we have some bugs with sunshine, and uh, this is it actually one cool of them. It looks cool in sunshine. It looked really cool in sunshine. You guys, we're not going <laughs> to deceive you. We bugs are happen. pre-alpha software. And <laughs> if you watch this channel, <laughs> you're going to get Would have been an cool. insider view uh, on... on how software develops and That's eventually right. this will stop happening you're gonna be like i used to watch sunshine videos back when all this stuff wouldn't load anyway this would certainly be a mega tree if wow yeah as it is it's kind of a minor tree ladies and gentlemen we tried our best actually you know what i think the issue oh you know what i understand exactly what happened what happened what did uh, you do? Yeah, no, the problem is, you know how the, we have, so the issue we have is that the volume delete doesn't always delete things. Oh, right. Right, so I use so volume delete. Is the tree delete. actually done? Yeah, the tree is actually pretty close to done. Oh, so you just have to get, rid, get of, rid of your scaffolding. Yeah, remember how I was saying I was really glad to be able to use volume de delete? Like, well, take that back, because <laughs> now I have to do it manually, and I will manually delete all this stuff. But then we'll get a pretty darn good idea of how the tree is supposed to look. That's true. That is very true. Um, so that's the only issue. All right, everyone, please bear with us as we delete some blocks. Maybe we should just like, pause right? this and play some hold music. Or load up sunshine and do a volume delete. Snorkel Louise, Snorkel Louise, Snorkel Louise, Snorkel Louise, Snorkel Louise. I think that's actually pretty close to the truth. That one's pretty good. Yeah, all right then. You know, you maybe could have put some more foliage on it. Yeah, next time, more foliage. All right, everyone. Well, I think that's a video. Bye bye, tree. Bye, tree, and everyone, and the things. Goodbye, Snook and Louise, until we eat chicken.